All right, a good Saturday to you. Labor Day weekend Saturday, as a matter of fact. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist John Dawson. Glad you found us here at Fox 26 with our tropical update. Always give us a great opportunity to dive into whatever we're doing here in the tropics, give you some discussion on what's happening. And, you know, it's very common here the, the Labor Day weekend that we would be discussing uh, some kind of activity because it's so active this time of the year. And we'll look at some statistics on that in a minute. But the good news is we do have an area that the National Hurricane Center is focused on right now, and it is way out in the Atlantic. If something were to become of this, there would be lots of time to continue to monitor this. So here is the Atlantic Ocean, United States, way over there, barely even on the map. This is Africa. And so we are again quite a distance away from the United States or even the Caribbean. I, I, I always really want to recognize the fact that we have a lot of people here on YouTube that check in with us in the Caribbean and always so excited that we have some viewers. Uh, I'll call you followers that are checking in with us regularly. We're glad to see that. If you want to leave a comment below, that's always great. I like to hear where we're getting our views from. So if you're in the Caribbean or maybe you're not in the Caribbean, maybe you're somewhere else. I know Louisiana seems to like to check in with us as well. So if you're not quite the same comparisons necessarily, uh, uh, but if you're somewhere not in Texas, let me hear from you. Let me know where you're from there in our comments and we'll continue to watch these waves, tropical waves roll off of the Africa coast and then they get out here over the Atlantic and if conditions are favorable, then they can kind of develop into a tropical cyclone. And right now the National Hurricane Center identifying first this yellow shading, this area in which this could be taking place and then the percentage chance that it would have in the happening. And in this case, it's over a seven day period. So over the next two days or over the 48 hours coming up here, we're not expecting anything to happen. A near 0% chance there could be tropical development. But when we get a little further down the line there, three to seven days out, this yellow shaded region here identifies where it would form. And again, a reminder, this is not indicating any kind of impacts or where a system would go, how large or how small, anything like that. It's just saying within this yellow shaded area, there's a 30% chance over a seven day period that we could have a tropical cyclone form. And that normally would be a tropical depression. And if it gets better organized, it becomes a tropical storm. If there continues to get more organized, then it becomes a hurricane. So here's the storms that are coming off that tropical that wave and then it, it gets out to here in a couple days. Maybe we could have something develop into a tropical cyclone and we could see that happening with our exclusive Fox weather model. So this is just one of the thousands of resources practically that is looked at by the National Hurricane Center when they start making those decisions. So uh, the exclusive Fox model shows a little swirl to these storms. You see that happening, right? And that would be one of the necessities to have a tropical system that closed circulation at the surface. So this is again something that they're looking at at the National Hurricane Center when they're kind of making their decision on whether or not they think this could develop into something. And if it does become strong enough to be a tropical storm where it gets a name, Gabrielle is our next name on the list. You'll remember that Fernand was a tropical storm that stayed out in the Atlantic. We always like that when we have the ones that stay out in the Atlantic. So if we just open up the history books, we go back to the 1850s. That's our records as far as what's been going on with tropical activity in the Atlantic. And we see that normally September the 10th over that period of time is the most action, most activity occurring uh, over this time period. And we're getting very close to that. Things are certainly wrapping up as we get into the month of September. All right, we're here every day of hurricane season, even on the weekends, obviously. So we got your Saturday report right now. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'll be back 4 p.m. Central Time, a little bit after 4 p.m. Central Time. We'll get this uploaded for you, and we'll expect to see you back here checking with the latest on the tropics.